In this video of FBO Director Setup, I'm going to look at how we set up customers in the application. Customers consist of two parts in FBO Director, the customer themselves and the tail numbers which customers may own. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at the menu. We have customers and we choose manage customers. By default, we supply you a customer called valued customer. Our recommendation is you do not delete this customer. We have included in the application certain defaults that take place as a function of valued customer. For instance, valued customer is your transient customer that comes to your location that we are not going to connect to a tail number. Also, valued customer should not be used to track credit cards on file. So valued customer is that the guy who walks up and pays cash at the desk or just flew in for today and quickly bought some avgas. And again, we include that for you by default. If you'd like to add a new customer, click the Add Customer button, and you have a pop-up screen with information that can be entered. So in this case, I'm going to add Ascenta Labs. Notice as I type, the company name filled in automatically. That was from our location defaults that we set up under Configuration Location, and that allows us to take the customer code and pre-fill that. The customer code is what your CSRs will use to look up customers. Therefore, I'm a fan of real names. If you're using individuals, for instance myself, I would use Nelson, John as a customer code. If you're using companies, I would type in the company as I did here. To the right is whether or not the customer is taxable. We already set this as a default to be true, and then whether or not the customer can run an account. And in this case, we have selected no as our default because we don't want new customers to be automatically set up to run an account. You can type in the customer name. If you are going to check for credit limits on account, you can establish a credit limit, but in this case, I'm not uh, set up to run an account, but you could type in a value of say 3,000 or $5,000 and the system will check the cur customer's current balance. You can, if you want, include an address. You can enter the city. If the customer has an email, you can go ahead and enter that. And that's the email that will be used for on file, that'll be kept on file at the end of an invoice. So you can automatically send out receipts to that customer. A couple of other fields to be aware of. Customer type. This is a free flowing field that's designed for you to set up a type of customer such as base. And that way you can run certain reports against that field. If you have more than one type, separate them by a semicolon and you can type in another customer type for instance CAA. The other piece that you can do here is set up whether or not a customer will have commingled fuel products and whether or not uh, they'll have a different AR account if they have the ability to track statements and run on account. And finally, the customer export code. In some instances, you may want to override the value of what is sent out to your accounting package. So we want to use FBO Director to track the individual profile information, but we want to use your accounting software at a different level. So if that's the case, you may want to send a labs to be the customer code, and then maybe the export code would be something like ABC001. And you could actually override that code. Lastly, internal notes. These are notes that show to the CSR, but are not visible on the invoice or to the customer. When done, click Save, and we have now created a new customer in the system. Uh, once we've created a customer and have customer information here, it's available for editing and we can make changes to the customer. And you'll notice that once it's created, we actually have a little bit of additional fields that are now available to us. One of those fields is the tail number field. So you can create the customer's tail number. And if you have makes and models set up, you can add that tail number with a make and model, or you can just add it as is. And you'll see right here, I have one tail number, November 325 Charlie Alpha. I can go ahead and add another tail number, November 5660 Golf, for instance. If we had discounts in the system, I could create discounts and show those discounts to you also. So that is how we go about setting up customers.